Hey guys, it's Matt from Tech One. Uh, today I'm starting a new video on my very unpopular series about cryostats. And okay, I know what you're thinking. It seems like I make a lot of videos about cryostats. I promise that Tech One works on just about everything in Histology Lab, so feel free to call us for any of your service needs. Um, in fact, I'm about to start a new YouTube series on H&E standards, so be sure and stick around for that. Um, there are a few reasons why I do cry so many cryostat videos. Uh, one is there are a bunch of issues that you actually can fix yourself without even having to call us. Uh, two, when you need them, you need them. You can't wait for us to get a guy on, on site to, uh, to, to repair them. And three, and this is particularly true of small labs like Mohs Labs and Euro Labs, they may only have one or two cryostats, so it's really important that they keep them in tip-top shape. So let's get on with the show. Uh, this video was originally inspired by a Facebook histology page uh, question, but it's also something that we run into a lot. So what happened is someone in the lab uh, changed the temperature on the cryostat from, we'll say, minus 22 to minus 5 uh, to try and save some money on the electric bill. So what I figured is uh, we would do is test and see if we actually do save any money. I don't know the answer to the question. Um, my guess would be you're going to save some, but not much. So to test this, I got a cheapo power meter from uh, the internet, this one right here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, well it's already plugged in, but we're going to plug it in here. We're going to set the temperature to the cryostat to minus 22 for one week. And then after a week, we're going to take a look and we're going to see how much power we actually have used. Um, after that, we're going to reset that back to zero. We're going to set this to minus five and let it go for a week. Um, and then we're going to come and see how much power we used then. Um, and then we're going to compare and see how much electricity we actually saved or if we saved any. Now, this is not the most scientific test in the world. I doubt it's going to make an episode of Mythbusters, but it should be fun anyway. So let's read it, reset everything and get started. And I'll see you in a week. Thanks. So we are at the end of week one, and this cryostat has been running for almost a, a week. I've got a few more uh, minutes before the actual seven days is over. Um, but we've been sitting at uh, 22 for the entire week. Nobody's turned anything off, changed anything. Um, I'm going to set the camera up uh, to get closer to the power meter, and we will see how many kilowatt hours I've used uh, this week. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! But anyway, you can see we have used 51.23 kilowatt hours to run this machine for one week. Um, I started at one o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday, and this is one o'clock in the afternoon in the fall on the following Monday. So I'm going to reset this now with this handy little tool right here. Uh, set this back to zero kilowatt hours and we'll run it again for another five uh, or for another seven days at uh, minus five uh, degrees Celsius. See you in a week. So here we are, it's a week later, um, and the cryostat has been running at minus five for this entire week, seven days, and we have used 28.64 kilowatt hours to date. Um, and that is considerably less than we were getting at minus 22, so I guess there's ag on my face. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go to my computer, I'm gonna do a little bit of calculating and see exactly how much money we saved by uh, having it at meg uh, negative five as opposed to negative 22. And I'll get back to you soon, thanks. So what have we learned? Well, if my math is correct, um, you can thank my high school math teacher, but we saved about 44% by changing the temperature from minus 22 to minus five. And while that's not an insignificant number, there is a but, and it is a big but.
Our local electric company in Chicago charges 6.776 cents per kilowatt hour. That's a real tongue twister. So, at minus 22 for a week, we paid $3.47 to run the cryostat. At minus 5C per week, we paid $1.94. That's a savings of about $1.53 a week. Uh, it works out to about $80 a year you're saving by changing your temperature. It's pretty insignificant in the grand scheme of things, I think. Now, I'm a pretty green guy. In fact, if my daughter leaves her lights on, I lose my cool, we'll just say. But coming into your lab and seeing the temp changed, that's got to drive you crazy too. So it's kind of up to you. Is it worth the peace of mind to leave it at the right temperature or would you rather save a couple of bucks? I, I don't have an answer. Once again, your, your decision. Um, it did answer a question from a previous video though. Should I turn off my com uh, cryostat completely when I'm not uh, using it, like for labs that use it once a week or once a month? Um, and what it answered is, if you are running it all year at 22, um, it'll cost about $180 to run it for that full year. I don't think it's that expensive, but once again, you know, I'm not you. So thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, um, ask them below. You can email me, you can text me, you can call me, and remember, hit the like button. Thank you. And that's also pretty, and that's, and that's still not a